Hello everybody and welcome to a new Genshin episode. And today we're gonna start the chapter 2 of this quest. I'm actually surprised that they give two chapters ahead already. Usually it's just one chapter and we have to wait for the another one. But yeah, chapter 2 now. We didn't miss the Subzeru's festival, right? Let's hurry and find Dunyarzan! Paimon thinks she must be around the Grand Bazaar, since she showed us around there last time! There she is! Dunyarzad! We're back! Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Oh yeah, the space NPC does get a CG scene for some reason. Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. <sighs> I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. Dia! You were eavesdropping! It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So, Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. Oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. Whoa, you're so thoughtful. Paimon's so ready. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah. It'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal! Good night, Dunyarzad! I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon started to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival, too! Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler. Ah, did we oversleep? We should go meet Dunyarzad right away. 
traveler, Paimon. I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. I'm hoping my body won't be too much of an issue today. Well, but shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They pay for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. <laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! This is a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff. Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushifa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumera roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the sub festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Is vegetarian really something to actually be logical in the fantasy settings? Who knows? Wait, but if that's the case, if Sumeru uses vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? I don't know why. They're already teasing the next... Actually, after the... After Sumer is even the Fontaine is Walter or the Pyre Nation. I can't remember. But I don't know why. But I imagine the Pyre Archon to be, I don't know, Firehead person. Or something like that. Or I don't know why, but I imagine this scenario like Alice take over the place for just the giggles. Many imagine that scenario. Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Natlon as soon as possible! <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected, and all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunyarzad says it? Are you guys working together? 
So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Okay. Let me just pick up a girl and a dog. So, oh, hello. I actually gonna... Maybe I can only put this? Yeah, why not? And yeah, why not the pot? Man, I, these things are really rare, rare to find, but kind of hard to pick up. It's going to take a while to level up quality to 70 at least. But let's start to take this off. Okay, one moment. Hmm. It's the moon. Paima wants to take a look too. Uh, is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hang on, do that actually, this actually change the pencil of what you give? Because the pearl can kinda see it, maybe. Hmm. Generally speaking, the moon signifies it means... Uh, wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. I can already see red flags. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the sub Festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now. <sighs> I wish I could have seen that spectacle. But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilo's dance of sub will be just as impressive. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. I don't know why, but I like this guy because of the most spells. I don't know why, but I just want to laugh at him. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzerus festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <clears throat> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzerus Festival. All right, little soldiers, take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, yes Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another sub festival icon, and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. <laughs> oh, not at all. 
Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Tanyarzad, you tried them before? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants the Sunsetia flavor. Imagine if he was here. Actually, how is he here react to food made out of kabutos? Man, I bet he be like sa and fade down. And I don't know why, but now I'm able to create too because she kind of likes to collect lizard tails for some reason. Or maybe it's just the comics fan, I saw. It's alright. Paimon believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Attention! That's unfortunately Lizard Tail. Oh, come on! Paimon thought you survived so many epic battles because you had incredible luck. But looks like Paimon was wrong. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Hey, Kimi. I was so close to actually pick that box that I choose to pick one that has a different color. Man, I really want to see this now. Because, again, this is Genji's thing. You cannot uh, reload the save. But again, you give us this uh, little choice. Uh, I don't know why, but I bet in the future they're gonna matter more. Maybe not as much. Consider them like choosing like. Um, or better say participate in some of the limit events and that uh, changed the Alcan quest like what was his name? Um oh yes, Kiamuts. I was so close to the to choose the middle one. Really? Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies. It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriage last night of flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Dunyarzad, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the Sub Zero's festival. <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Boss, isn't that her? Wait, are these the good ones or the bad ones? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good. Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> I 
That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but... I wonder how much the Humayanis would shell out to get you back. They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Humayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? Oh, man, look how nice. Man, I can't wait to vote for her. Your dear, dear the flame mane. No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. Please, a cinematic with her. Koya was, please. I don't, I don't know what to make out of the soldier. I don't know why, but even is some kind of face or... Hmm. Out of what I heard, this is robotic. And... And I really like... To see how he's gonna play out. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky. Traveler, take Miss Junior Zod to a safe location. Please be careful, dear. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Huh? A timer? Um, um. Zod. Are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. My lady, traveler, found ya. Dia! You took care of them so fast! Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm! Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Oh, so now she actually learned to use the greatsword. Because if you saw the teaser animatic, she using a greatsword. And I don't think I actually saw that in her pen. Huh, for once, they actually have different texture for when... Hmm. I'm gonna have to check out the recording to see if Axis has that before. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword. Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I wasn't trying to make you cry. I'm, 
I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling her weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. I can buy you one of my gifts. How about the fees? A man with no imagine. Because she has this cat to look and imagine her holding the fees. I'm surprised no one made a comic about that. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <coughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly, I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. 